What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. On this segment, I'm bringing you some shots of our uh, extended, a.k.a. facility, and some of the creatures we have over here. So, um, I told you guys that we have another half of Emerald Scale Exotics, some other breeders, and some of our uh, estranged pairs living. And I'm bringing you now one of our little, um, it's kind of a side project here. And uh, it's actually our first dip into what you call paludariums. So right now it's pretty much just a live terrarium. But um, just wanted to bring you some action shots here of our uh, Chinese fire newt. I'm sorry, Chinese paddle tail newt. Yeah. So this guy is um, very similar to uh, one of the little um, fire belly newts, but much bigger and much more aggressive, as you can tell. Um, this is a male, and he's actually uh, living in this little pond all by himself with some frogs. Um, but yeah, you can't keep these guys together. You have to definitely keep them separated, so that's why you only see one newt in here. And it's his feeding time right now, so he's getting some frozen mealworms. And then, um, as you guys can see, we got this little section sealed off. We got Eco Earth with some um, repti bark in there. And there's all kinds of live pathos in here. So we took a lot of clippings, went ahead and let them get rooted. Some of them stayed in the water. Some of them got planted. And uh, it's been doing great. And then the water here, um, the red light kind of tints it, but it's tannin stained. So they seem to actually really enjoy that. Um, if you guys don't know what tannin staining is, you basically are using driftwood to go ahead and release some of the chemicals that they hold in the wood, in the bark, into the water. And it kind of softens it up, makes it less alkali. So um, any of you fish keepers out there, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And paludarium makers, you would know the same. So. Also in here we have a fire belly toad, and that's a little female. She's in there right now as a refugee, but this thing is actually going to be much bigger now that the test was successful. I'll be bringing you that later on when our partners over here are finished with the building of it. But if you guys can look in there, I featured them before. These are the uh, Indo toads, Indonesian toads that we had. Um, you might know them as the ridgeback toad, it's more common, or the crested toad. So these guys are actually doing really good in here. They take dips, but for the most part, they still stay terrestrial. And our female is actually outgrowing the big fem um, the big male, I'm sorry, that's in there. So let me try and get a inside shot, but I actually, We'll just leave it because I don't want to disturb them. But you guys can see them there, so. Let's get another shot of this guy eating. He's going nuts for his worms. Alright, let me get in here. There they are. Actually, I'm sorry, that's our other male that's starting to bulk up. I wasn't able to see without the light. So that's our male, that's our big male, and that's our female over there. At least that's what we believe it to be. It's a fairly uh, newly introduced species to the trade. So not a great deal of information on it, nor a great deal of experience out there on them. But uh, here at Emerald Scale, we're definitely getting the front end of it. So, And it's been awesome. So that's that, guys. And then, um, yeah, I'd give you a little more information on them. But pretty much, these guys are being kept... Um, as you would typically keep any other terrestrial toad, but they just have a much bigger water feature. And of course, this is gonna be much different than the other one. This is just our first dip at paludariums, so, yeah. Compared to some of the big ones, it'll get there. But for now, it's working. And then up here, darn it. If you can see his butt, <laughs> that is a tree frog. And let me see if I can get him for you guys. Yep, there he is. 
I know I'm kind of blinding him there, sorry about that, but you guys can check out his colors, he's really, really nice, in really good health there. And yeah, pretty much that's all he does. Um, lately he hasn't really been singing, but during breeding season he gets pretty crazy, and he croaks like hell, so. One day we'll bring you uh, this guy singing, and hopefully some breeding videos. We gotta get him a female. But yeah, this is our uh, mini paludarium here. This is actually a five gallon, if any of you are wondering. So uh, I know it looks probably a little bit bigger, but if you can see scale to my hand, it's pretty small actually. So more updates coming soon. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. If you guys like our content, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember, it's only one extra click, and we really do appreciate it. Um, and for all our subscribers out there who have their own channels, we do sub back, but um, just keep in mind that we try our best to keep it all reptile related. So, I mean, don't take any offense. I might sub you guys with my personal channel. So if you sub me and you get a, a, a sub back almost within the same time but from a different account, then you can pretty much bet that's Emerald Scale. But um, yeah, for the most part, we try to keep everything reptile related on this channel. So. No offense to any of my other channels out there, you guys have some great content as well, but I'll be interacting with you more on my personal one. Until then, thanks for tuning in, see you guys later, peace.